Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here, the van man. And today I'm going to show you one of the rarest Class B camper vans you're going to find on the market today. Um, very fortunate to have this one, guys. I'd probably never have another one like this again. And today we're going to review one that I personally drove in myself cross country. I flew to Arizona to get this van because it was so rare. Today we're going to review a 2006 Great West Classic Supreme Class B van with, as you can see, a slide out. Now guys, you're not going to find another one of these for sale in the country right now. This thing is beautiful. It's immaculate. I wouldn't have drove it back 2,000 miles if it wasn't. 39,000 actual miles on it. The van is just immaculate, been kept under cover when not in use. Tires were just put on a few months ago. The van did flawlessly. Built on a Ford E350 chassis. It's got the 5.4 liter Triton V8. Plenty of power, gets great fuel mileage. I mean, of course, I drive slower than most of y'all. I got about 16, 17 miles a gallon with it. Um, of course, now I don't drive that fast. So, you know, you if you drive like I do, you'll get that out of it. Got a trailer hitch on the back, 5,000 pounds. Of course, it's what they used to call back in a long time ago, we used to call these turtle top roofs. It's one of the very few vans that I'm six foot four that I can stand up in. It's got six foot four of height clearance on the inside. Got the Happy Jack slide out system that works great. This is a nice van. I know it's not cheap guys, but if you're looking for pretty much a turnkey van, this is it. 39,000 miles dash air will absolutely run you out of there and actually cool the entire RV. Now I'm going to disclose one thing about this uh, RV folks. It's kind of weird, especially considering the area of the country that it came from, how hot it gets. But this unit has never had a generator. It, um, it's, still, it's all hooked up. You know, it was an option when these were brand new to put a 2.8 on end gasoline generator in it. Um, but the people that own this thing and the people who've been using it for the past 15 years never had a need for a generator. So what I'm doing is the 54.9 price, I've got a very low hours 2.8 Onan gasoline generator in the shop. We're going to install that generator in this, hook it all up so it looks factory and it's about, and that generator's actually probably several years newer than the one that would have came on this van if it had if it had one to begin with. So it will include a generator for 54.9. Now, if you're like the previous owners, you have no need for a generator because a lot of people that do the van life don't really want them. Um, I'll knock off $3,000 off the price because by the time I figure what I have in the generator and the time and labor to install it, that's about what it's going to cost me. So you get your choice, guys. 54.9 comes with a Onan generator installed. Or you can use it like it's been used for the past 15 years without a generator. Your choice. Now, of course, if I've already now if we've already put it in, of course, that offers void, but boy, it's a beautiful van, guys. Like I said, I doubt I'll never have another one like this again. Um 39,000 actual miles runs and drives perfectly no check engine lights no warning lights um brakes tires you couldn't want one to run and drive any better than this one guys 5.4 v8 good combination of power and fuel economy 20 feet long full fiberglass roof it's got an awning got a six gallon dsi water heater let me show you the back of it real quick before we go inside this is a rear bath model, which to me, for room-wise, is hard to beat. And I'll show you a couple of things in here. 1,500-watt uh, DR series inverter by Xantrix. This is a newer inverter, got an automatic transfer switch. Now, this inverter will not run the AC. It'll run it on fan only, but not on cool. You know, a lot of people, though, on these vans, 
they park them out and just open the windows up anyway but it does have a rear bath got a crank out awning I mean, guys, Great West was one of the original Class B camper van manufacturers, and uh, they were built up in Canada. They're very well, these are not mass produced models like road treks or even the interstates. I mean, which are nice, which are nice camper vans, but a Great West is kind of a step above quality wise. I mean, they don't, they don't try to be the biggest, they just try to be the best. And Great West vans have got a reputation for quality that's really hard to find anymore. And of course, you know, because they kept production numbers so low, when these things hit the market, they're varying. I mean, you'll see 20 road tracks for every Great West van that hits the market. But let's look inside, guys. And it looks like, I don't think that floor is factory. It probably originally had carpet in it. And they put some kind of... Uh, almost like a, some kind of snake skin or alligator skin or fake i'm sure but floor you've got leather furniture these these leather chairs are just amazingly comfortable on a long drive let's see here cranks right up no warning oh i gotta put a little gas in it got a gas light on but it's got 39,000, well shoot, got that low fuel light on, it won't show me, hang on. 39 and 11, 39,011 miles. Power windows, power locks, all work great. Dash air is also nice and cold. Pioneer Bluetooth stereo. It's obviously a lot newer than the uh, van. Windshield looks great. It's got one little rock peck that I had filled in, so uh, you don't have to worry about that seats very very comfortable on a long trip i can personally tell you and like i said this is a turtle top band guys i'm six foot four and this is probably i can count on one hand the number of bands that i've been in that i can stand up without stooping over this is one of them of course i know i don't have a lot of room but uh great height clearance and this is does have the bed up top and you fold this down fold it out and then you put your cushions across to make your bed it goes from the front to the back now this is really just for a single person up here that I, you know, I don't think you're gonna fit two people and then of course there's your ladder this is all fiberglass you don't have to worry about anything leaking and in the slide out you've got a big table booth that will fold down and make a double bed and this is the bed i think i stayed one night in this on the way back and that's what i slept on and i stayed in the hotel but um but yeah guys it's nice i mean this is just a quality they're hardwood cabinets um like i said it's got a tv in it got a, a stereo rooftop ac you've got a two burner stove top sink furnace three-way rv refrigerator freezer of course the inverter will run the refrigerator to run the tv it'll even run the microwave convection oven um and it's got it is set up for a generator but as you can see look at those hours guys i don't know if you can see it or not this close if you look at those hours zero hours it's never had a generator in it you can look under it and tell that So like I said, if, if you decide you don't want a generator and we haven't put it in yet, we'll knock three grand off the price. Cause we'll put that, we'll keep that 2.8 cause they're gold right now. You can't find generators new or used right now anywhere, but we just happen to have one. So uh, like I said, three cubic foot, three way RV refrigerator freezer, which does work great. You plug it into shore power, that roof area works great. Here in the back bathroom, you've got wood floor that's removable. You've got toilet, RV toilets. You've got a sink, uh, medicine cabinets, vent fans. This is a lot of stuff in a 20 foot van, guys, I'm telling you. Uh, they're just stinky slinky. <laughs> you got a little compartment here. You can put you a uh, air fryer. You can put you a uh, coffee maker, whatever you want right here. And this, this actually comes out or slides out 
for easier access to whatever you put in there. And um, two burner cooktop, which like most of them doesn't look like it's ever been cooked in. This is such an amazing vehicle, guys. I, I mean, I couldn't. And I know some of y'all may think, wow, that's 54.9. But let me tell you something, guys. Try to find another one to compare it to in this current market. Van life is more popular than ever. And and van life is getting to be so popular at the time that inventory is at a historic low for used vans. I mean, I'm seeing 1990s conversion vans. Just regular pa passenger conversion vans selling for $10,000 plus. with 200,000 miles on them. I mean, it's amazing, guys. And I seen this, I knew what it was, so I went ahead and scooped it up. And, um, wow. Guys, like I said, they don't come any nicer than this. I mean, you gotta realize, most people that own vans, they use the crap out of them. In other words, guys, they don't let them become driveway queens. They use them for day trips, weekend trips, cross country trips. Defined in 06 with 39,000 actual original miles on it, is a needle in a haystack but here it is guys a beautiful rv this thing you know we already you know that one i did the other day with the rear door that american cruiser already sold i could have sold six of them a lot of those people that called on that are waiting to see the video on this one um this thing's beautiful low miles slide out great west van you know, they started business way back in 1976. So like I said, they, they weren't the first company to actually come out with Class B vans. That was Frank's Motorhomes um, later, but that later became Explorer. But they were one of the first and one of the oldest ones. And um, like I said, very well made. This was kind of at the height of their popular, uh, height of their finance or their popularity as far as the company and quality. And this is just quality that even in the newer vans that cost $130,000, $140,000 new to me aren't as well built. They may have more te technology in it. They may have some more conveniences. But to me, those $130,000, $40,000 new vans don't have a character in the quality build that this one does. And I may be wrong. It may just be my opinion. But... Um, Honestly, I, I I like this fan. I like it because I'm tall and I can actually stand up in it. You know, most of you guys that are tall like me, you're, you know, if you're over six foot tall or six foot one and you buy a class B van, you're stooping over when you walk or bending over. This one here, no, you can, you know, I have to stoop just a little bit to get underneath the AC. But other than that, I can pretty much stand up from front to back. Uh, 5.4 V8, I think, back then they were don't quote me on this but 255 260 horsepower which to me is plenty for this size vehicle and um yep yeah, anyway guys gonna have a generator in it 54.9 absolutely haggle free firm it will include our world famous four page inspection process but y'all have to understand that uh right now we are experiencing a very bad labor shortage, worst we've had in 53 years in business. Expect a significant delay doing, if you decide to take the option A price for the 54.9, uh, which will include the generator installed, will include a four page inspection process and even include a 90 day easy care warranty, but expect 30, um, 30 days plus to get the checkout done, maybe even up to 60. We'll try to do it quicker but we've got about 50 units in front of you in queue. So, and for those of you who have been understanding during this current crisis we're in, I, I really appreciate y'all. Um, I'm just being honest with you. I don't want you to come in here, expect to pick this thing up in a week because it's not gonna happen. No matter what you pay for it, it's gotta go through its place in line and be fair to everybody else that is bought from us as well. So um, as long as y'all are under that understanding, we'll be more than happy to do the four page inspection process. However, if you do want to buy this as is and that, and you can still get the generator put in guys, um, I'll give you a discount price, whichever way you decide to go. And I'll give you a more of a discount for an as is about double what I would normally do for an as is rebate. And I promise you this guys, this fan needs nothing. I mean, besides getting the generator put in and wired in. Um, if you want a generator, I mean, this fan is immaculate. Uh, I used it 
didn't have the first bit of trouble of course now um i didn't really use the um i really didn't use the furnace <laughs> but i'm sure it's fine <laughs> uh like i said these folks took really good care of this fan it was kept in a uh it was actually kept in a building so the sun didn't fade it as you can obviously tell from the outside being out there in the texas arizona area spotless carfax per, i mean this is they they don't come any finer for an 06 model period um inverter works great i used it a little bit in the microwave on the way back heat some stuff up uh, when i took a break from driving because i pretty much drove this thing straight back <laughs> um but anyway guys nice van don't let it get away um i i mean i'll be honest with you come test drive it you'll be hooked you'll it'll take you about once you step inside this van it'll take you about a minute and a half to say yes i want it and uh even though it's an 06 i do have some financing available with approved credit and and of course like everything right now you're going to have to have a pretty significant amount of money down with excellent credit and if you're interested in learning more about that or uh, give us a call 706-965-7929 and I also recommend checking with your local bank credit union, see what kind of programs they offer. So you have a basic comparison. Um, this is just, it's a nice guys, it really is. Um, and be honest with you, if I was, just because I've spent a lot more time in it than y'all have, um, if it was me, honestly, I would, I would take the as is on this one. I wouldn't hesitate not one second to, to buy this thing as is and if you let us know you're coming we'll plug it into shore power um make sure there's some water in the tank so you can check it out yourself before deciding to buy it or not buy it and you get a good i promise you the rebates you get from as is buying it as is versus going through checkout is pretty much going to be just extra money in your pocket because i can't imagine you spending hardly any of it on any kind of repairs um it's that nice of a van it's got the adjustable Firestone, which was a lifesaver on some of those rough roads. It's got the adjustable air sh suspension with a built-in compressor that works great. Um, of course, Ford vans, I, I love the way, of, you know, Ford and GMC are my two favorite vans to drive. And, um, and this is no exception to that rule. Even in the high winds, this thing stayed on the road great. That E350 chassis is a good wide chassis for this size vehicle. It wasn't that top heavy. You know, I got I went through some pretty bad winds and it blew me around a little bit, but nothing that it was dangerous for me to be on the road. It, it tracked very well. Um, I mean, transmission, brakes, everything just, I couldn't have asked for a better vehicle to drive back from out there. And, um, and thank you to the folks that we got it from for selling it to us too. I mean, they, they've been watching my videos and they knew how much I appreciated vans. And, you know, guys, I used to, when I sold, I sold RVs for several years. This was my bread and butter. I sold more vans than anybody. I loved, I love the uh, class B camper vans. We always had several of them used. Those were the good old days, guys. You know, back then we'd have 50, we could have up to 15 or 20 used vans on the lot. And, uh, now we're lucky to get three or four of these in a year it's crazy how times have changed and i love these vans guys i always have i've drove i drive a van myself um i mean they're just uh they're awesome versatile vehicles because you can use them for day trips for weekend trips you got kids they go to ball tournaments in the summertime man take this thing to the ball field Especially with a generator on it, you can fire that generator up, turn that AC on, have you a nice, cool place when everybody else is sweating to death and have a place get something cold to drink, make you a nice hot snack, watch TV. I mean, whatever you want to do, guys. Um, you know, you've got family in hospital long term and, and you go up there and see them and, and like to have somebody close by. Park this thing in the parking lot, have a nice little break area for whoever's up there. You want a, um, you know, you, you like doing flea markets and craft shows and, and all that stuff and, and shopping. I mean, drive this fan instead of your vehicle. Way more comfortable. It parks in a regular parking space. Gets good fuel mileage for this size vehicle anyway. And you can use it for about anything. Uh, you've got medical problems. you got to have a bathroom. <laughs> 
You got a vehicle with its own built-in bathroom. Well, I try to find a gas station or a fast food restaurant to use their restroom in, not knowing how dirty it is. It's right here, guys. You just pull over, do your business, or if somebody else is driving, uh, uh, if you can hang on, <laughs> you can uh, do your business while they're driving down the road as long as you hang on to the toilet. <laughs> I'm not going to say that I've uh, intentionally slung people off the toilet before doing that, but I'm not going to deny it either. <laughs> so... <laughs> It's tempting, and I promise you, if you're driving with somebody sitting on the toilet, all you gotta do is just start rocking that steering wheel just a little bit, and they'll, you'll hear them, you'll hear them yell pretty quick. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I gave y'all a bad idea, a bad habit. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but um, anyway, guys, thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. Come look at this van, but as always, call before coming to, to look at it to make sure that it's available. Um, <laughs> God, like I said, that, that one I did the other day for 30 grand sold in just like that. And I, I, I could have sold six or seven of them if I had them. Um, I don't look for this one to be here long because it's such a rare vehicle. And um, it's nice, guys. It really is. Anyway, 549 Haggle Free Firm. If you're interested, give us a call, 706 965 7929. I'll put some links in the video description below. Uh, one to our four page inspection process. So you can see everything we're going to inspect and guarantee to work for the price you pay. If you decide to take the option A with the warranty. And uh, of course, keep, you know, uh, under the understanding that you may have a 30 plus day wait. Um, or if you want to take it home the same day you pay for it and take the discount, trust me, guys, take the option B on this one. You know, I usually don't discourage you or encourage you either way, but on this one, I'm going to say take the option B. You won't be disappointed. You get a heck of a discount. You don't have to wait. And really, guys, the van does great. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. And, um... Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share on social media. Um, make sure you um, uh, put it on Facebook. The more interaction you give my channel, the more people see it, the more it helps support my channel. But thank you again for watching. Really appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.